Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Vito Studio, and today I'm gonna show you how to create the double vision effect in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and here I have a clip of a woman drinking. So we're gonna try to create an effect of double vision, like if she were drunk, for example. But you can use uh, that effect to emphasize someone that just got hit by something, uh, that got poison, or it could even be like a cool effect for a music video or whatever. It's just an interesting effect to play around with. So it's gonna be very easy. We're gonna go over to the effects, down to open effects, and here we're gonna search for transform. We're gonna use this transform effect. We're gonna just drop it here on our clip. And then here in our inspector, we're just gonna scroll down, go to global blend. And here we're gonna reduce the global blend, maybe to about 75 for this one. And now that we've reduced the global blend, it's gonna allow us to have basically twice the same clip, but one gonna be at 0.76 of opacity. So now when we adjusting the zoom, as you can see, it feels like we have two clips. We got the original clip in the background, and then we have another clip layered on top of it at 0.75 of opacity, but it could be less opacity, more opacity and you can just play around with that it will just change the effect also quite a lot play with this parameter so here for example we're going to play with the zoom so we're going to increase the zoom and then we could uh, play with the rotation so having a bit more rotation right there you could displace the position as well you could change the width and the height so it could be useful for creating memes or just emphasizing like some trippiness you know by having something getting distorted for this specific example we're not going to go that extreme i'm just going to make some modification here to the zoom and to the rotation so i'm going to rotate a little bit zoom maybe a little bit more and i might just bring the blend down a little bit and now if we play it we already have that cool duplicate effect uh, that gives some trippiness to the scene but for that specific clip we're gonna go a step further and i'm gonna add two other effects to just give it more texture and make it work a little better. So here, I'm gonna go to the search bar and I'm gonna search for flicker. I see that there is cool light in the background, cool neon light, and it will be cool to just add uh, to the trippiness by having a flicker effect to it. So I've dropped the effect, now we can go over to the inspector, click flicker addition. Here we're gonna switch the flicker tab from gamma to gain. We're gonna increase the range, we're gonna reduce the speed, we're gonna increase the smoothness, then we're gonna scroll down a little bit, we're gonna increase the random scale, and we're gonna increase the random seed. Now let's play it to see. I'm gonna increase as well the pose length and the pose interval so it's not as present and it just doesn't distract us too much. So here I've reduced the range by a lot and then I'll play around with the random scale to get something that looks uh, quite natural. Just play around with the same thing until you find something that will work for you. Now the second effect I'm gonna add to it is gonna be a camera shake. So I'm gonna search for camera shake and we're gonna just take it and drop it on all clip. Now let's play it to see how the effect all clip. Right now it's a bit too much and there is not so much randomness to it. It feels very unnatural. So we're gonna change that by clicking into the clip. Then in the inspector, click camera shake. And here we're gonna play around with the setting as well. So the first thing is that I want to reduce here the speed scale. I want then to scroll down a little bit and here I'm gonna adjust the randomness scale and I'm gonna adjust the random seed. Now let's play it. And we got something that is just looking a bit more natural in my opinion. And that's how I will create that double vision effect. Now play with each of those parameters to really get the look that you want, depending on what you're trying to convey. Right now it's a drunk scene, so that's why I did all those elements, but uh, that might be different for a fight scene, that might be different uh, you know, for someone that got poisoned, for a music video, for whatever it is. So just play around and see what works for you. Right now let's see how each step affect our clip. So we started with the original, then we added the transform effect, and then we added the flicker effect, and then we added that camera shake to tie everything together. That's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free startup pack containing a compilation of 20 titles created from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.